Fielding ground balls at first base. We need to make sure that we, first of all, catch the ball or knock it down so that the pitcher can cover first so we can get an out. But if we catch it, catch the ground ball normal, we should be in a nice fielding triangle so our hands are out, staying low, and making sure the ball stays right here, our chest stays in front of the ground ball. And one of the mistakes that a lot of first basemen make is once they catch it, they take their hand back and like wind up toward the throw and what happens is when the pitcher comes across when you wind up his first instinct is to back away because he can't tell how hard you're going to toss it. So we need to make sure that we make it easy on him and show the baseball and get it there on time and straight to him. So once we make the fielding triangle coming through the baseball we want to separate and create a stiff arm and use our momentum, use the legs to get the toss to our target, which will be the first, uh, which will be the pitcher covering first base. One of the keys: follow your toss to make it easier. Once you separate. You can show it to him, and then that way he knows the speed, he sees the baseball as he's trying to run, catch the baseball, and tag the first base at the same time. Sometimes ground balls are hit pretty deep to us, and we still have, we have plenty of time to make the feed, the underhand feed toward our pitcher. To do this, we get into our fielding triangle and we separate as I create the stiff arm and I'm taking a long toss to first base. I want to bury my, my glove into my chest to create more torque as I go to my target. This is for that long toss that you really have to generate a lot of power, a lot of speed with your legs, and use your glove to create some torque to get the ball straight there to him. So let's show the footwork there. So as we're in the ready position and the ball is hit hard, it's going to take us deep, so we need to take that angle, open up, take the angle back, and as we catch the ground ball in the hole, probably it's going to take us into the outfield, our momentum. So make sure we catch it, take into the outfield. You might take one step in the hole, or you might be able to just pivot, but now you've got the task of hitting your target that's moving across the infield, which is the pitcher covering the back. So you're going to make sure you've got a short, throw and follow that throw. Take your nose to the target and go straight back to it because we want to make sure we lead the pitcher chest high. If you give him a toss that's at his feet, at his feet or behind, it's going to be tough for him. So we got to lead him about chest high. Think about being a quarterback. Now we have a difficult play and that's the ball that's hit slow roller straight to you inside the grass that the pitcher cannot get to. The pitcher is instructed to go in a straight line, not to deviate outside the line, but going in a straight line. This is the ball that's coming in that we have to field and give a toss to our uh, pitcher. So what's going to happen is we have to attack, and most of the time it's taking us just a little bit away from the bag. So when we come in to field it, especially being a left-handed first baseman, we have to field it and then redirect our momentum in this little chop step, redirect quickly, show, and give him a toss. But the key here is to stay low and redirect quick because the momentum is going to want to carry you toward the pitcher's mound or towards going away from the bag and you, it's so hard to try to make a toss this way. So we've got to make sure that we come in, catching it, redirect, and give him a toss.